Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Wita and I'm the Unapologetic Shopper. Today we are going to be using the Everyday Planner, well my Everyday Planner here and we're going to be using the Dream Seeker sticker book along with the Recollections calendar and date book. So we're going to get started with this week's spread and I'm going to show you last week's spread and here it is i was really happy with the way that it turned out and i think that this is this week is going to be just as pretty so we're going to get started we're going to have to do some white out outing on some things so we're going to take care of that first we're going to get rid of this here and we're going to get rid of this week. We'll get rid of that. I hope that everyone had a good a weekend this weekend. Mine was somewhat somber. We uh, had a death in uh, the family. Uh, and that had me a little down. Uh, all weekend uh, long. All right. Uh, but you know, I look forward to God's promise uh, in Revelation 21, 3 and 4. That's something that we're looking forward to. And so I meditated and thought about that. I've already pulled my stickers. Here are the ones that I pulled. And I'm thinking maybe... Uh, maybe the April colored ones will do. So, let me get my tweezers. And I'm going to take the days of the weeks off of this April one here. Because I think that it matches it well. And I'm going to cover that up. These cover this up really well. Even uh, with me looking at that, I cannot see through uh, this sticker. So that's why you see me using uh, this so much because it covers so well. And I do not have to, um, I don't have to white it out. So I'm loving that. I just need to get it down on my book uh, straight. So, uh, as I was saying, I hope everybody had a good weekend. If you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you. If you are a reoccurring visitor, I want to welcome you. If you just happen to just stumble upon this channel, welcome. I hope that you enjoy the content that I put down for this spread. I try my best to think out my spreads with what I want to use how I want it to look in my mind. Everybody has their own way of uh, deciding on their layout. Mine is a little odd, and, and I'm not ready to share what that is right now, but eventually I, I will share with you. Sometimes it takes me a minute to uh, figure out what I want to do. Sometimes I it just... I just already know but uh, I had to think long and hard like I said my mind was weighed down today uh, we had a grave side uh, today and like I said it was that was on my mind most of the day uh, it really hurts when someone well I wouldn't say that you're close to but that you know that he is a family member and they lose a spouse or a child or something you know a mother father it really hits home and it makes uh, you think about a lot of different things so that's where I was uh, today and today's date uh, we're going to be starting with the 24th so let me see here the 24th I'm going to see if the dates where I left off 
with uh, last week will work. Give me a moment here to try to look through this and find it. I think that it will. So I'm going to use those. So let's get that put down. So let's see here. I said, uh, yeah, 24th. So let's get that put down. But as I said, you know, when you know someone that has lost someone that close to you, it does weigh heavy uh, on your mind and your heart goes out um, to that mate and that family, uh, children, grandchildren, and so forth with that. And, you know, it makes you think about God's promise and what he has in store for us. And that brings you some, you know, some, some happiness, uh, knowing what, um, what we have to look forward to, I hope. Uh, we had our convention Sunday morning part uh, this today and that was really uh, inspiring and very encouraging so I meditated on that uh, today as well and uh, just mostly lounged today and rested uh, to rest it up so that was what my day was like today yeah that's what my day was like so I hope that your Sunday was pleasant enjoyable it was sunny here so that helped a whole lot as well so all right we got our days of the week down and yep excuse my nails go ahead and say that because i'm working on getting these off and letting them rest for a minute and then i may go back to some more so i put down some things let's see here let's see how i want this to go i think i'm going to take that date up uh -oh. Because I don't want to cover up my date. So sometimes that's what I like about this uh, sticker book, and that's what I like about um, not just this sticker book, but this paper as well with this. And so that goes, it's going to go down like that, and that I, I don't mind that. So we got that right there. And what I'm going to do with this date, I'm going to move it over a little bit more. Yes, it's going to be look a little different from the way the rest of them, of them are, but that's not going to bother me. As I stated, it's your planner. You do what you want to do with it. So I'm happy with that. And that says, get it done. Okay, I pulled this feather right here for Tuesday. I want to put it right here and then layer this box. Pull it down. Uh oh. Don't don't stick, don't stick. Layer this box on top of that. Okay. There we go. And for Wednesday, I wanted to use this sticker and place it right on the edge as close as I can get it to the edge and that's going to give me enough room for the writing that I want to do and I pull this sticker here for Friday right here so I'm going to put it as close to the bottom and to this line as I can. There we go. I'm going to raise up my date on this one as well. And, you know, sometimes you can put your dates down later. But sometimes, oh my goodness, I hope that, yeah, there we go. Sometimes you just have to put them down and 
Let me raise them up. This is one of those cases where I'm having to do that with some of my stickers and I don't have a problem with it because it's still turning out exactly like I want it to. And I'm going to still keep this in line with the rest of the dates, how I have that. And I'm going to cut that off. No, I'm not. I'm going to cut that off because I don't want to cut that much off. So we're going to have to go up a little bit on this. Put that over there this time because I'm not, I want, don't want to put it back until I know I've got it where I want it. Let's see if we can get this up. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Did stick a little bit, but that's fine. So we're going to put this right there at the edge, but not enough, not enough that we have to cut it off. We're going to line it up straight by going with this line right there, pulling that over. That's what I wanted right there. And it could be, could have been a little straighter. It could have been. But we're going to leave it as is. And I'm going to put this date on this other side of to do. There we go. All right. So to make that look a little bit better, I think. I want to move this date over if I can find a spot to get up under it and I did right there so I'm going to take this and move it close to this and this one I think I'm going to take it up once more And I'm gonna I'm turning it because I want to put it right on the edge of that gray okay there we go okay. and I want to take this one up I'm just changing my mind as I lay this out and of course you can do that you can do that so since I've got that on the edge, I want it to look somewhat balanced out. I'm going to move this for Tuesday over just a little bit. Line it up, not quite on the edge, because it's not quite on the edge at the bottom. And I think that's going to balance that out. Okay, all right. And I am really happy with that. I've got something on here. Let's see what this is. Let me get that off. There we go. Okay, now in this corner, I want to put some florals down. And I'm going to put this. Turn it. Tweezers, and I'm going to put it right there. And we're going to get our trusty little scissors here and cut the overhang off. There we go. Okay, now we are coming along. We're almost finished. On Thursday, I want to put down a quote. It says, Inhale courage, exhale fear. So I'm going to put that right here and then in, over here on Sunday I want to put down another flower to balance it out at the bottom and I'm going to put it right here at the edge not in the corner like I did the last one. And then I want this Choose Joy Girl. And yes, I have mixed the metals, gold with um, rose gold. And I'm going to put this in the center. Just have it overlap a little bit on each one, but mostly on Friday because I have that list right there for Friday. 
And those are the stickers that I want to put down. So now I want to put down some dots or some bullet points. So let me see here what I have, what I like to use here. Just give me a moment here to locate them. I thought I had those pretty much pulled, but I guess I did not. Let me see what I did with those. Because I want to use a pink as well with that. And I'm trying to remember where I put those. Yeah. Yep, I'm trying to remember where I put them. And I generally keep them close handed. Hold on one second here. Let me check right here in my drawer. Let's see if they're right here. So, you know, you can put down checklists, bullet points, just whichever floats your boat. And since I cannot find what I want, I'm going to see if I can find it in one of these sticker books here. Let me see here. Go through here. Won't take but a minute for me to go through this because I want that color and I did find that color. I think it's oh those are letters. Those are letters and not bullet points. And I do like that. I do like those stars. Hold on. That one I like, which is this right here. That's something different. I've never tried those. So let's see. Let's try it now. Let's see how they're going to look. So let's pull them up here. And there we go. And they have a little star in it and look like a little teardrop. So we're going to put that right there. And we're going to put one. Right here on Thursday. And we'll put one on Saturday. Right there. Okay, there we go, and then I want to put down, of course, Thursday is my trash day, so I want to put that down, so let me, I'm going to show you what these are coming uh, out of, this is, and I guess I'm going to have to keep this on my desk as, as well, the um, pastel stickers. You can find this at Joann's. And I've been using this quite a bit lately. Quite a bit. Um, with getting um, different things that I want to have done. And uh, my work schedule, I am going to put that down as well. Let me see if we can find one. They this one here and my days of the week I'm going to are the same so I'm just going to put one date down one time frame because I work the same each and every day this week so I'm happy with that so let's see what else in here I can pull because I found quite a few things here we go on Friday, I generally do my cleaning. This week, I just didn't. I don't know. Like I said, I was in a slump this week. A really bad slump this week. But generally, that's my day for cleaning house, and washing, doing all that sort of thing. Uh, I have an appointment on Friday as well. 
Whoa. So I am going to put that. Mm, I had forgot all about that dentist appointment I had for Friday. I surely had. You know, I had forgot all about it. And that's something I definitely, 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 definitely don't want to forget. Not this week. I'm trying to wrap up everything that has to be done with this. Okay. There we go. And you can see the time and stuff to that. I'm happy with that. I'm glad that I saw that appointment so that I could remember. Laundry. I'm going to push it off to Saturday this week because Friday is full. And I'm not sure I'm going to want to come in and do laundry. Uh, Friday after the dentist. Uh, and I will probably go ahead and do my shopping. A few things I need to pick up. I will probably go ahead and get that done as well on Saturday. And I'm probably going to pre-plan, meal plan, meal prep, I'd rather, my, um, my, um, dinner too for Saturday. Uh, let me see here. This book, I keep it handy because it generally has everything that I want to get done in it at least one of these books will have it anyway so i think that's going to get it that's going to get my plans so we did use the pastel colors we also used the uh, dream seeker and we used the recollections calendar and dates so those are three books we ended up using I'm happy with the way this spread came out. I still have plenty of room to uh, get everything done. And we're going to cut off these, this overhang right here. Get that done so our pages don't stick together. And I think that is going to be our spread for this week. And I'm happy with the way that it turned out. What do you think? Give me uh, your take on it. I thought that it came out good. I thought the flowers matched. This green pulled out the little green here, here, and the little green there. The blue, I thought it was just neutral. It pulled everything together by putting it in the middle of the page. The recollection stickers, of course, always work for me, and I like them. I had no problem with mi mixing the florals. I only used a little bit of the rose gold. The rest is in uh, gold, so that was not a problem because none of the uh, the uh, florals or anything had any rose gold. So I thought that was just a little pop. So I'm happy with that. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I definitely appreciate you taking the time out to visit my channel. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, to like, and comment. I would love to hear your comments down below, especially on this spread. Have you used any of these stickers book, sticker books? Um, what are your thoughts on them? Uh, how are you planning this week? Is it a heavy week, light week? Just whatever. Anyway. Thank you. I am truly humbled by you being here. So remember as well, please be safe. There's only one you. Only you can take care of you. Okay? Be safe out there. Bye.